In today's video, I'm gonna show you the two main methods for connecting and controlling your ATEM Mini or ATEM Mini Pro. The first is the direct USB-C connection. The second is how to connect the device up to a network, which is great for the ATEM Mini Pro users because you can use that one ethernet connection for both control and to provide it an internet connection for live streaming. Before we get started, you're gonna need the latest version of the Blackmagic ATEM software control installed onto your device. So if you haven't yet, go to the Blackmagic website and download that. Now the first method, the direct USB-C connection. On the back of the device, there's a USB-C port labeled webcam out. This is for both the ATEM Mini and the ATEM Mini Pro. And if you plug a USB-C cable into that, and it can be, depending on what device you're wanting to plug into it, a USB-C to USB-C cable if you're on a newer MacBook or something like that. But also, if you're on an older device that only has USB-C A, just get yourself a USB-C a USB-C to USB-A cable, that will be, work fine as well. I saw some other questions from people saying, if you're wanting to use a MacBook, does it need to be a Thunderbolt 3 cable because they're more expensive? No, a normal USB-C to USB-C cable will work perfectly fine. Grab yourself that cable, depending on what device you've got, and then it, it is what it says on the tin. Blackmagic have made it so easy. All you have to do is connect the two ends. So connect one up to your Blackmagic A10 Mini and the other to your computer, once both devices are connected, just open up the Blackmagic ATEM software control. And as you can see here on the screen, it automatically finds the device. I don't have to do any sort of configuration. It is as simple as it can be. Blackmagic have made it so easy. Just plug in, open it up, and you're ready to go. Now let's talk about the setup for if you want to connect your ATEM Mini or ATEM Mini Pro to a network. For this, you're going to use the Ethernet port on the back of the device itself. And you're also obviously going to need some Ethernet cables too. I'm using just standard CAT6. I'm gonna draw a little diagram to help explain what's happening here. So we've got our A10 Mini Pro in the middle here. And the two things that we need to provide it are an internet connection and then a device that will also act as the A10 controller or be able to control the A10 Mini Pro using the A10 software. So I'm gonna draw my MacBook Pro here on the right. And on the left, I'm gonna draw my home broadband router which is gonna act as my internet connection. Now most home broadband routers have, I think usually four ethernet ports on the back. So one way of doing this is using the ethernet ports on the back of the router and you just connect up your ATEM Mini Pro to one port on the back of your router and then your device, whether it be a laptop or a desktop, to the other port. Then they're both on the same network and they'll be able to see each other. What I've done and what may be beneficial to you is I've added an, a network switch into the equation because I essentially just wanted to run one cable to my desk and give all the devices on my desk a hardwired ethernet connection. So to show you what this looks like on the diagram, I've just added in the ethernet switch here. And so what I do is I take one ethernet cable to the network switch for my internet access and then I distribute using that network switch to the ATEM Mini Pro, to my MacBook Pro, also to all my other hardwired devices, things like my other MacBook, my Teradek video, for example. So everything can see each other, it's all on the same network now. And here's what that looks like in real life. So I've got my ATEM Mini Pro on the desk here, it's connected up to an ethernet cable, as is my MacBook Pro. And if I go under the desk here, you can see that I've tried my best with cable management, but that is where my small Netgear network switch is housed just under the table. Now the last thing that you need to do is just get the ATEM software control to see the ATEM Mini or the ATEM Mini Pro on the network. And to do that, you're gonna open up the ATEM software control. And if it doesn't automatically find your device on the network, you'll only have to set it up once. And what you do for that is you go up to software control in the top corner, click on connection, and you'll see you've got two options. You can manually type in the IP address of the uh, Blackmagic ATEM or ATEM Mini Pro that you're trying to connect, or Blackmagic have now enabled discovery on the network, so we can actually see it listed here. So if I just click on this and then click connect, we'll see straight away the ATEM Mini Pro is found on the network and I can connect to it using any device that is also on the same network. So if I wanted to, I could have my main MacBook in the ATEM software control controlling the video aspects, or let's say controlling the media pool. And then I've got another device here that I could use for switching or could use for monitoring audio. I've got another device, a mobile device. I could download a various number of apps and do and make uh, or do things to the ATEM Mini Pro on there. So there's switching apps available. 
and you can do that via Wi-Fi. So I really do advise connecting the ATEM Mini and the ATEM Mini Pro up to a network rather than the direct connection because it gives you a lot more flexibility in what you can do, not just for those Pro users in terms of being able to live stream, but also just for regular ATEM Mini users, it gives you flexibility in terms of what devices you use to control it, controlling over Wi-Fi and things like that. So I hope you found this video useful. I've tried to make it as quick and concise as possible. So if you have, give it a like, let me know. Let me know in the comments what sort of future tutorials and videos you'd like to see on this channel as well and if you're new here welcome I try and produce as much uh, content as possible around these fantastic broadcasting devices so if you are new hit the subscribe button join us and let me know what videos you want to see on the channel in the future but for now guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one let's address the elephant in the room then the lockdown locks it's not a toupee as someone put in the chat it is just the fact that hairdressers aren't open